So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at the Fisher Space Pen ST Space Tech Pen, and that is this right here. It uh, says the Fisher Space Tech. The other stuff's just the official name. Uh, but what this basically is, it's a very affordable uh, pen from Fisher with uh, a rubberized coating. So almost all the Fisher Space Pens are full metal or partially metal. This one is full plastic, uh, which means it's very light and very rugged. You can't really mess this thing up too bad. Whereas a lot of the other Fisher Space Pens are very classy, but if you drop it, you're gonna feel the pain. So again, this one's super light, uh, just you know, like 20 grams, something like that. Haven't even measured it. Uh, full plastic. The some of the components look like they're metal, but it's a plastic front piece, a rubberized body with, with the uh, grips, these carved out grips. Plastic clip, although a pretty strong press uh, plastic clip, and then retractable. Good, good pressure there. This is definitely a pen you could use with gloves on because it has sufficient grip. It's got a large area here to grab either below or above the section thing. And then uh, if you do drop it again, it's not metal. And it's very light, so throwing it into a pocket or uh, you know the pocket on your arm or uh, something like that is uh, very easy to do. And there's no pointy edges, no sharp pieces and all, so putting it in a pocket or something like that is not a bad idea either or in a backpack either it's not going to gouge a laptop or something uh that's really about it for the design price wise this thing goes for about between eight and ten dollars online which is pretty cool because once you open it up you'll see that there's a rugged spring and you get a real uh fisher uh, we'll see the refill here, real PR4. So that's the standard Fisher medium refill. So this thing on its own, you can see right here, has a retail price of $6.50. Uh, street price around you know five to six dollars. Call it five dollars. Uh, and the pen itself only sells for uh, you know eight to ten dollars. So if the refill is six dollars, you're not really paying much for the pen body, which is nice to see didn't put that in properly. There you go. Very simple. Simple mechanism. Works. Reliable. Uh, for day-to-day -day use, I actually don't really like this pen. This, this uh, edge right here where the plastic grip meets this over here basically where the section meets the grip, uh, there's a pretty distinctive line right here. So when you hold it, you either have to hold it up or too far down. I usually end up holding it right here. And it's not like it's sharp, it's just not very comfortable to hold, which sort of defeats the purpose of the pen for me. This whole section piece should have been shorter or longer. And you see in other pen designs, you do something like this. You, you make this removal piece very short, so you have area, you have like the full grip to hold on to. This that's just a straight up design flaw. There's no other excuse for that. Uh, but past that, it's easy to hold. It's grippy, waterproof, writes in any conditions. Uh, so the pen definitely has its attributes. You know, like 95% of what's good about this pen is because of that Fisher PR4 refill in it, and then 5% comes from the fact that it is full plastic and uh, has a rubberized coating, which has its uses, especially if you're wearing gloves. So uh, if you want something cheap and light to keep in your pocket or whatever while you're wearing gloves and using in adverse or work conditions, this pen fits the bill. I personally, for about the same money, you could buy the Fisher Cap-O-Matic, uh, which works for me, but it doesn't have that big rubberized grip. So if you're using gloves or using it outside in the cold and you want some extra diameter, then the Space Tech is the way to go. Do a quick writing sample, even though I think most people have seen the Fisher PR4 in action. So this is the Fisher Space Tech. Uh, yeah, Space Tech. And this is the PR4, which is a black 
medium. It's a, a definitely a very solid, very dependable ballpoint. Probably not the most enjoyable to write with, but it does a good job. Relatively smooth, no problems with this. And again, the main strength with it is you could write in essentially any conditions. So for outdoor use or uh, outdoor, you know, in adverse conditions in the cold, whatever, I think this is a solid pen, even though it's not very pretty. And you know, the manufacturing quality is just, yeah, it's fine. It's just the design side is not great. Uh, but if you're using it for indoor use, Obviously, it's no replacement for something like the CH4. It's a much nicer pen, but it also costs five times more or three times more, something like that. Uh, but again, the other one to look out for is the Capomatic, which uses a Fisher Space Refill, but uses a design sim more similar to the PR4. And that's the one with the metal body, plastic cap, and the whole cap clicks down. You can check my previous videos to see that. So that's the Space Tech. Thanks for watching.